Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful 2004 Mercedes-Benz S430. It's quite a rare car in that it's an 04 model and it's a 430 with the 4.3 litre V8 and the seven speed transmission. It's probably the first 430 from 2004 I've seen in this color combination, which is travertine beige with cream leather interior. It's done 131,000 kilometers and it's got a perfect Mercedes-Benz service history. So every single service on this car has been done at the same Mercedes-Benz dealer in Sydney. <clears throat> it looks like a one owner. It's got a nice set of Pirelli tyres. I've driven the car, it drives beautifully, and I've driven a number of W220s, which is this series w, uh, W220. I think I've owned, I've lost count, I've owned three or four of them now. And I had one in the exact same colour combination as this. And I sold it to a friend and I still, I still see it every now and then. And it just looks fantastic. I remember when I had it always, people often commented on the colour and they said it was, it was very, very nice. It's just a lot, a lot better than your, your silver with black or your silver with grey, which, which I think is a bit boring. Being a 2004 model, it's got updated fibre optics means it's got a quicker navigation system along with a few other benefits you can't see. They came standard with front and rear parking sensors obviously. It's an S-Class. All the tools are there. They even give you some fuses. But I think this is probably the pick of the the pick of the S-Class series from 2004. What's amazing about the 4.3 litre V8, especially with the seven speed gearbox, is the fuel consumption. Um, I actually picked this up when we got the car. And I drove it home and I was going through the menu and it said that I was using 11 litres per 100 kilometres going over the Harbour Bridge in the morning, which I think was very impressive. Surprisingly, you will actually get a better fuel consumption than a V6. It's hard to believe that a V8 S-Class can use less fuel than a V6. But the V6s are working quite a bit harder. The 500, if anything, is probably a bit, a bit of overkill. You don't really need that much power. And the 4.3 litre is absolutely fine. Admittedly, I think the fuel consumption has been helped by the seven-speed gearbox. All the V6s in this series were five-speed, so there was no seven-speed. Early in the two W220 series in 1999, when they first came out, <clears throat> they had a couple of issues. They were very advanced for the time. And, um, you know, if you go online, you'll see people comment on <coughs> having electrical issues and things. I've owned 03 and 04 models, and we've sold probably a dozen, maybe even closer to 20. And we do not have issues with any of these S-Classes from 2003 onwards. They're very, very reliable, safe, surprisingly economical, and they do hold their value. To be able to buy an S430 from 2004, with 131,000 kilometres for under $25,000 is remarkable. And if you look online, if you see a good, I don't know, 126 from 89 or 1990, or a good W140, 140 was the S-Class from 1992 to 1998, they'll still be asking $20,000. I've still got a S-Class from 1993, which has about 140,000 kilometres. It is in absolutely immaculate condition, and that today would probably be worth between fourteen dollars and $15,000. So what that means is you're not going to have much loss in terms of value. 
So with a lot of people, if they want to buy something like this, they've always wanted a Mercedes. And they're retired, they don't have a significant income. It's like you're going to buy it one day for 25 and then it's going to be worth two and a half or five thousand dollars. It's a Mercedes Benz and it's an S Class. If it's looked after, it will hold its value. But a lot of people who buy these, in fact, we have had a couple of other S Classes, including an S430 from the same year. People keep them, they drive them for five or ten years. And do you know what? After two or three years, you might feel like, you know, I think I need a change. You start test driving cars, you get in a BMW or a Lexus or even the newer S Class, you drive it, and you think, you know what? I think I'm just going to keep keep this because, in a lot of ways, nothing really really compares. I personally went from the 220 series and I bought the newer series, which came out in 2006, called the 221. And to cut a long story short, I ended I ended up buying another 2004 model. I just preferred it. I preferred the way it sat on the road and drove. And um, I think it's actually got much nicer lines. Some people would disagree. But if you've been in the market for an S-Class, you've been waiting for an S430 because they really are very rare. There's probably only a couple online. And uh, being an update with the seven-speed gearbox, I think, is very important. And it's also good for resale. And just to finish off, it does have two keys. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it does have a full Mercedes-Benz history from brand new, from the same dealer, service from what we can see up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Our location is in Marrickville. We're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. If you do have any questions about this car, Please feel free to give us a call. My name's Philip. You can speak to Richard as well. I have owned a number of these, so if you have any particular questions with regards to size or length, drivability, whatever it may be, please feel free to ask. Thanks again for watching.